wonder if I can edit this out and let everybody see what a complete noob I am. Pretty good to me. I'm on. Okay. For a second, I thought of Joe Robin netted my fire steel. Ooh, look at that. We got a fire. Have you ever been to New River Gorge? They say it's pretty awesome. There's a lot of history and nature. Nothing. Well, I ain't never been, so let's go look. Maggie and I are finally on the road, really late. We're going to New River Gorge, but on the way down, hey, we're gonna stop and spend a night at Shenandoah National Park. So, you know, we got no really tough days. It says it's gonna take three hours and 42 minutes to get there. That puts us there at 11 o'clock. That's a little early for check-in, I believe. But you can always find a ton of stuff to do. So we're gonna stay there tonight and then drive on to the gorge in the morning and then see what happens when we get there. to go look off the edge of the mountain. Let's do it. Woo! It's breezy. You want to go look in the grass first? I live for this stuff. Maggie and I are stopping for a bit of lunch. We're almost at the campground. We got about 15 minutes to go, but I know once we get there, we're gonna to have to go for a walk before we do anything. And I'm gonna to have to put on some warmer clothes. It's, it's chilly up here and the wind is howling. But we're gonna sit down and have a little bit of tuna fish and crackers. She's afraid I'm gonna make her get out in the wind and take pictures. I <laughs> not like it very much. Hey, on. Come 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 on. Now you're up. Come on, I'll give you another bite. You want to share? I have shares for you. Look, everybody wants to see you. I want to take pictures. Well, you'll come out for a little bit of tuna fish. One more that, and that was mine. I'll give you a bite. Maggie's mad at me. The wind is blowing 30 miles an hour and every time I make her get out of the car to take pictures, I gotta drag her out now. We're gonna get to camp pretty soon and she won't have to deal with that anymore. And she'll be better. I don't know, it depends on how windy it is over there. I think I just missed a picture that I want to take. I'm gonna have to turn around.
All right, Maggie and I are Big Meadows Campground. We have site C-130. Let's go find it. All right, Maggie, this is us. C-130. Here's where Maggie and I landed for the night, smack dab in the middle of Shenandoah National Park on Skyline Drive. Okay, here we are. Not exactly the spot I would have chosen for myself. Not enough trees around. But I'll know the next time to make a reservation. Okay, so Maggie and I are going on our initial explore to go see what's around. Let's go look. Maggie and I have a ritual when we land at a new spot. The first thing we always do is to reconnoiter the area before we start setting up camp. We go to check out the campground and the people and find out where the bathroom is and look for any trails for walks or other stuff to do. Today's mission was interrupted a bit when Maggie did a number two and I forgot a bag. So I improvised with a candy wrapper and back to the van to dump the load, so to speak, and off again. That's about when the battery died. I've only put this thing out three or four times. It's not bad at the moment, but the sun here is blazing. Huh, interesting. I have to see how this is going to work out. It started out okay. All right. Wonder if I could edit this out? And let everybody see what a complete noob I am. Step one, complete. Time for step two, as Steve Wallace would say. Okay, we're gonna get an early start on dinner. So I think I wanna take a pretty big walk later this evening, but I don't want it to be too late. There, now that that's done, we're gonna have some fried potatoes and fried onions. And then I'm gonna cut up some hot dogs and throw that in with it and call it dinner. Not an ideal situation, but I'm going to make it work. This will work better if I start the fire. The windscreen's too light to stand up. Let's get cooking. I might be a little bit impatient. Alright, we're going to let that render down a bit. Ooh, I better get some salt and pepper. All right, this stuff's looking pretty good to me. I'm gonna dice up some hot dogs real fine and toss it in there too. Okay, so Maggie's enjoying her dinner vigorously. And mine will be done. Ooh, I think mine's done. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna let that simmer down a couple of minuets. Maggie's had her dinner. And now it's time for bony appetite for me. Looking pretty good. I forgot paper towels. Oh my God. I can make a meal out of just fried onions alone, but fried onions and potatoes always go together. And I can just throw any kind of meat with it. After a while, me and Maggie are going to take a big walk after I eat. And we'll get back then. All right, Maggie and I are headed out for our walk. Ready to go, girl? Come on, we're going to go the other way this time. 
we're gonna go for a long walk. Maggie and I are working our way through the campground to get to the access road between the campground and Skyline Drive. So Maggie's hair is really pretty and all that, right? It's really long and it waves in the wind and it glistens in the sun. But everybody tells me, keep her a haircut. But this is part of her stick. So when I'm on this trip, I might get her a haircut somewhere down in West Virginia. We haven't really come very far. We haven't even made it to the wayside from the campground, but you tuckered out, girl? Look, she got her legs stretched all the way out behind her. All right, I think, let's see if we can squeeze another half a mile out of you. Let's at least get to the store. Okay, that a girl. Let's go. All right, so there's me and Maggie. She had to get carried. All right, me and Maggie walking from the campground to the store. Maggie got tuckered out. I let her down and walk some on the way back. Look at the knot hanging off of this damn tree. I ain't never seen nothing like that. And it's a big old damn thing. I didn't want to break down camp, so I walked two miles to get some paper towels and cell service. I forgot my wallet, and nobody is home answering the phone. How about that? This girl was a real trooper. She walked all the way home from the wayside by herself. And this is what our little home for the night looked like. All right, it's time to have us a little campfire. Let's go look style. So, let's go look. <clears throat> There's my starter fire light. I flavored that all flame up pretty good, pretty fast. There's some pretty fatty wood sticks down there from old pine knots. And I got me some shavings and a little bit of dust. And I'm going to build this here and then slide it under there. Okay, for a second I thought of Joe Robinette in my fire steel. Ooh, look at that, we got a fire. Oh Lord, let's put something on it. When this stuff catches, it's gonna go pretty good. Let me take one of these little sticks and light this stuff on the other side. Okay, it's going to take off on its own no matter what I do. So. You can see it in there. It's going pretty good now. I'm put this knife away before I hurt myself. The fat wood sure does burn good, but it makes a lot of smoke. I'll just get these big fellas up there preheating I think that fire is going to tip over if I ain't careful okay I guess that's enough of that for now hot chocolate by the fire. Maggie already went to bed. She had a long walk and a tiring day. So me and Maggie are gonna let this fire burn down and then we're gonna get ready to go to bed. We'll settle in, have us a snack and either I'm gonna listen to an audio book or find something on the iPad that I feel like watching. Uh, and this thing is just about done. 
we'll let it finish doing its thing and then we'll get ready to pack up and head into the house good night you guys hey Maggie Psst. are you going to tell everybody good night Maggie you don't want to be a ham now right good morning so this is how I wake up we're kissing up the nose Ugh. good morning it got cold last night I imagine it's in the 40s I forgot my thermometer uh, luckily I had a spare blanket in the car if I hadn't been so lazy I would have turned on the heater, but I got it packed up for summer. And I didn't feel like going through pulling out the hose and running it and the whole nine yards. But it was okay. We had enough stuff to keep warm. I'm going to have to see about a bathroom and a cup of coffee. And then we'll worry about breakfast. Oh! Mmm. All right, Maggie's having her breakfast in the van. I did pull out the hose and turn on the heater. I'm gonna warm it up in here a bit. I'm gonna warm up the van, I'm gonna change my clothes, I'm gonna clean up and pack up some stuff in here. Then I'm gonna go out and make the coffee and then we'll have a walk. Okay. Okay, it's coffee time. It's ready, we're gonna make it. And then I'm gonna have to get this little girl up. You ready to go pee? Not to go pee, we already had a pee walk. We're just gonna have our last walk before we leave. While I drink my coffee. We're so sorry, Uncle Albert. I'll get back to you guys when we go for our walk. Maybe you want to go for a little walk? Come on, let's go stretch your toenails. Alright. So Maggie and I are all packed up. It's... 10 minutes of 10. I got no clue how long it's going to take us. Next stop is New River Gorge. I don't know how long it's going to take us to get there. I can get cell service in a couple miles when I get out of here. And then I'll look up the map and uh, me and Maggie will get on the road. Okay. See ya. On the road again. Making music with my friend. We can't wait to get on the road again. You want me to roll the window up, Maggie? I know it's cold. What is it? Oh, it's all the way up to 51 degrees. I'm going to eat my orange. And it's very good to me. Traffic's really light this morning. Passing lanes? I don't remember seeing this before. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I'm going twice the speed limit. This thing said I gotta go 206 miles. I tell you what, it's a nice road, but it's not the fastest way to anywhere. Making music with my friends. Hey Maggie, come on. You wanna be a part of this? Do you wanna be a part? Okay. Google Maps tells me it's three hours and 45 minutes to New River Gorge. It always takes me longer. It's 10 o'clock, 10.01. That's, I would like to have gotten there earlier, but then I would have had to get up earlier, huh? 
Okay, we're gonna go. I'll share a little bit of the trip with you. Play a GoPro. I know these twisty, turny, up and down mountain back roads isn't for everybody, but I love this stuff. It makes me wish I had a motor pickle. James River and Kanawaha Turnpike. Funnest road ever. Would you look at that? We made it. In 800 feet, your destination will be on the right. Well, this Maggie, it's our lucky day. They saved us a shady one. All right. So Maggie and I are about to get our first view <laughs> at the New River Gorge. Okay, they got a nice little walkway down here to the lookout. Way up on the side of a hill. This walkway looks pretty tame at first, but it's deceiving. It goes down there a long way. It's got big landings and lookout points, but it just keeps going onward and downward. And right about here is where me and Maggie got our first look at the bridge. We had already driven over it once, but this was our first real look at it. This bridge was quite the feat when it was built in 1977. It held several places in the record books for highest and longest steel arch span. Look at that. Now I want you to look down there. You can't even see the end of it. And I'm not even showing half of it. We go onward and downward. And every time you turn a corner, there's more stairs. Man, that is something there, else. Here was our second view from the end of the walk. A bit lower down and a bit closer up. It is impressive. It's a long way back up from the lookout down by the bridge. Maggie got carried most of the way, but I'm gonna make her walk the rest. Come back for the next video to see what me and Maggie get up to this down in the summer. gorge. Yeah, those are looking pretty good if you ask me. Now, and it's pretty loud. If you watched this long, go ahead and subscribe. It helps me out and you don't miss any of the fun. And if you like this stuff, you can watch all my minivan camping videos on this playlist. Or go watch as me and Maggie wait out a winter storm.